Okay, the FedEx guy just stopped by our house and um, dropped off my Dell XPS. And let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see, where is my knife? Mm. Oh, I have a knife here somewhere. There's uh, one here, here. It's not my knife, but it's, uh, it's like a hobby knife. Let's go ahead and cut the seal. Got a nice black box that it comes in, and I've purchased Dell computers online before, and this particular Dell laptop that I'm currently using is the Inspiron E1705, and it's 17 inches. So I'm pretty used to the larger screens. So when I ordered this uh, XPS, I had wanted to get the same size screen. So it's the uh, seven XPS 17. And on top of the box is the power Cables. and the power adapter so I could plug it into the wall and let's see what is this here And it's got a nice black uh, overall color to the box. And when I purchased my Inspiron E1705, it just came in a plain, I think a brown or white box. And this is the Adobe Premiere Elements 9. And Adobe Photoshop Elements 9 that came with the package. It's got the drivers and utilities. Sound Blaster XFI MB. There's a um, brochure with the coupon code. For some accessories, and let's see what's in here. It says XPS and Dell on it. And it's the warranty and support information. Safety and environmental regulatory information and the XPS setup guide. And so that's that. Put it to the side for now. So, with, with the um, package deal that I got, I got Adobe Photoshop Elements 9, which is uh, one version older. Because they came out with the newer version, the Photoshop Elements 10 and Adobe Premiere Elements 10, which is the newer version that just came out. But I could pretty much do everything that I'd want with the Photoshop Elements 9. 
So let's go ahead and take the actual laptop out, if I can do this with one hand. There's this um, foam that keeps the computer from being damaged in transit. So here's the laptop itself. And it's got another foam protective um, packaging over there. And it's got this black bag that, that uh, wraps on the computer. It's actually upside down right now. But let's go ahead and get this off. So here it is, the Dell XPS 17, and there's a little plastic covering the uh, Dell symbol. I think I'll just leave it there, I might take it off sometime later. But uh, one thing about the, the, uh, the lid or the screen, there's no uh, latch that holds it down onto the onto the bottom end of the laptop and on my Dell Inspiron E1705 I have this little um, latch mechanism here that keeps the uh, lid closed but on this one you can feel there's like a some tension on the on the screen when you close it so I don't think it will be too much of a problem I mean I'm sure I will try to secure it when I do um, take it you know for travel or for having uh, having the laptop outside of the house and it shouldn't be a big deal, but let's go ahead and check out the the keyboard. It's um, backlit, and I haven't hooked it up yet. So, but I'm sure there are quite a few videos of other people that have this laptop, and they've done several unboxing videos so most of it is not you know anything new I got the Core i7 which is the 2670 QM I think let me just check really quick here Okay, so the build that I made on the Dell website is that I have the Dell XPS 17 and it comes with the second generation Intel Core i7 2670QM processor which is 2.2 GHz with Turbo Boost. 2.0 to 3.1 gigahertz. It has 8 gigabytes of DDR3 to DIMM, the standard internal keyboard in English, camera software, 2.x factory install, basic stage, 17.3 inch FHD WLED AG. I Upgraded to the 1920 1080p uh, screen 
and it has the NVIDIA GeForce GT 550M graphics card which is one gigabyte with Optimus and um, I decided to just get the 550M instead of the 555M because I, I have read that some GPUs cannot even process larger um, size uh, capacities like 3 gigabyte so some people say you know a lot of people just that are not in the know decide to just choose all the um, upgraded features because it says 1 gigabyte instead of 3 gigabyte and they do not know that some GPUs cannot handle that many gigabytes unless you really have a fast graphics um, card so you can't utilize the extra extra power because or extra space because it doesn't have the power to um, utilize it so let's see what else I I got the inter um, Intel wireless display software one terabyte 500 gigabyte 7.2 K HDD times 2 elemental silver aluminum windows live wave 4 windows 7 label PC restore Dell welcome date to safe local blah 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 it's got Skype and it's got a bunch of other stuff um, I opted for the 6L lithium ion primary battery because I'm gonna have it plugged into the wall most of the time anyway and let's see I also got the Canon ELF 100 HS um, digital camera power shot ELF 100 HS which can record 1080p at uh, I think 24 frames per second and at 720p with 30 frames per second so I bought this laptop mainly to be able to play edit and upload high definition videos with the 1080p mostly so I'll be doing a lot of that and I didn't buy this laptop to play games on it so the one gigabyte um, NVIDIA 550M should be enough for the purpose of what I'm wanting to do with this laptop and let's see it's got the USB E SATA uh, output two headphones headphone jacks a, mic a microphone jack on the right side and on the back I think it's got a TV tuner plug uh, adapter or or you just plug in a TV tuner it's got HDMI Ethernet the power plug and two USB 3.0 plugs and you've got a USB uh, plug on the side as well so two 3.0 USBs and one um, regular 2.0 USB and you also have the SDXC MMC MS Pro uh, memory card reader on the side